In application of derivatives, kailangan alam niyo yung mga notations na ginagamit natin dun sa uh, calculus. Like yung s equal to f of t, usually yan yung binibigay ng original function. At ang original function, lagi siyang denoted by this particular notation. s is equal to f of t or sometimes s of t. So yun yung original position o yun yung original function na gagamitin nyo sa pag uh, sagot ng mga questions like finding the velocity or acceleration using um, a given function. Now, ito namang s prime, usually ginagamit yan sa pagkuha ng, of course, ng first derivative or mins minsan sinusulat siya as f prime of t or ds over dt or derivative of s with respect to t. At usually, ito rin yung ginagamit nating notation para sa velocity ng uh, isang moving object. So, instantaneous velocity could also be the first derivative. At sa first derivative, mahalaga na alam nyo yung interpretation ng signs ng uh, first derivative, which is your velocity. Kapag ka yung velocity nyo e eh, positive, it's moving forward. At ang velocity nyo naman, kapag ka negative, it's moving backwards. At pag kinuha nyo yung absolute value ng velocity, speed naman yung um, sinasagot nyo doon sa question na yun. So, mahalagang malaman nyo itong mga... Um, terms na to tungkol sa associated sa velocity at sa first derivative. At yung second derivative, s double prime or f double prime of t, is your acceleration. So yung acceleration nyo, pwedeng instantaneous acceleration or change in velocity, yung uh, type of question na pwedeng yung encounter using the second derivative. Now, um, sagutin natin ito isang example na to, uh, distance traveled by a particle. So, sa pagsagot ng distance sa isang word problem involving uh, derivatives, like this one, the position of a particle is given by the function s is equal to t cubed minus 60 squared plus 90, where t is in seconds and s is in meters. Let's find the total distance traveled by the particle during the first five seconds at saka yung displacement niya after 5 seconds. So, dalawang questions yung tatanong ang sasagutin natin. To total distance nung uh, particle after 5 or the first 5 seconds, tapos yung uh, displacement niya after 5 seconds. So, yung first step sa pagsagot nung uh, uh, total distance traveled in the first 5 seconds, kailangan kunin natin yung intervals. Yung intervals ng velocity. So, pagkuha nung velocity, kukunin natin yung first derivative. So, yung s of t, which is your position, Yung v of t is your second derivative. That's why I have 3t squared minus 12t plus 9. Tapos, ang gagawin natin is solve natin yung t para makuha natin yung interval. Since uh, factorable siya, na-factor natin tong function na to into t minus 3 and t minus 1 which is equal to 0. And then by zero product property, yung mga intervals na will be t equals 3 and t equals 1. So, ito ngayon yung illustration ko ng mga intervals. Magsa-start, syempre tayo sa 0 seconds up until 5 seconds. At sa gitna niya, yung mga intervals na nakuha natin based dun sa velocity. So, ang kukunin natin is first 5 seconds. So, kailangan natin makuha yung um, position mo from 0 to 1 seconds, 1 to 3 seconds, and then 3 to 5 seconds. At ito yung formula ng pagkuha ng position nyo for each interval. So, from 0 seconds to 1 seconds, Kukunin nyo lang yung absolute value ng f of 1 minus f of 0. So, yung f of 1 mo is yung position. So, yun yung kukailangan mong function. So, ito ang gagamitin mong sa, um, value to substitute your uh, function. So, f of 1 minus f of 0. f of 1 is equal to 4. At ang f of 0 is equal to 0. And once again, yung mga f's natin kinuha natin sa original equation, or original function. So, yung uh, distance traveled from 0 seconds to 1 seconds is 4 meters. Tapos from 1 seconds to 3 seconds, kailangan na naman natin yung absolute value ng f of 3 minus f of 1, which gives us, alam natin ang f of 0 is 0, ang f of 3 naman is 0 or 0 din. So yung f of 1 natin ang kailangan natin at f of 3, so 0 minus 4 will give us 4 meters. So from 1 second to 3 seconds, 4 meters yung tinavel ng particle. At yung last interval, from 3 seconds to 5 seconds, f of 5 minus f of 3, Yung f of 5 na lang yung kukunin natin kasi alam na natin yung f of 3. Ang f of 5 is 20. Ang f of 3 is 0. So, 20 minus 0 is 20 meters. So, hindi pa natin nasasagot yung tanong. Ito pa lang yung mga kailangan natin sa pagsagot ng tanong. Kaya yung tanong kasi is find the total distance traveled by the particle during the first 5 seconds. E ito lang yung mga distance na na-travel for each interval. So, ang gagawin natin, kailangan natin siyang i-add lahat to get our total distance. 
At yun yung ginawa natin dito. So, ito yung uh, mga intervals at saka yung tinakbo ng particle. So, pag in natin yan, it's equal to 28. So, the total distance traveled by the particle during the first 5 seconds is 28 meters. So, yan yung pagkuha ng distance traveled by a particle given an interval. Now, to answer the second question, yung displacement of the particle after 5 seconds, ang displacement niya is yung uh, highest interval niyo or highest... Um, value ng time nyo, minus f of 0 or yung initial, so 20 minus 0 is 20 meters, ito yung di displacement na tinatawag sa calculus. So the displacement of the par particle after 5 seconds is 20 meters. So yan yung kaibahan ng displacement dun sa total distance traveled.